if you think your uh, VM is being charged uh, when the VM is not in use and it's being charged, you can switch off your VM with the automated shutdown or auto start. Save some dollars in the billing cycle. So here I will guide you for the auto automation of the VM like uh, like auto start and auto shutdown. So if you have your VM uh, control panel such like if you go with in the virtual virtual machine section here uh, virtual machine section and if you select one VM and uh, scroll down the panel here left panel here you will see like a view so if you click this task preview it will open something like that something like that panel so you can add here add here a schedule task i have created here uh, like a vm1 shutdown and vm1 start start so what this task is doing so this task is just triggering one command to shut down the vm source and uh, restart at the given time. Uh, I have written here two task schedulers uh, to do this job. One is shutdown and one is start. So let me guide here how you can add this. So if you click on add new task, it will give like a send monthly cost for resources, start VM machine, deallocate VM machine, power of VM machine. So if you are going to select with start VM machine, Next, it will, it will ask for authentication. I am connected here. I am currently connected here uh, with my logins. So it will so here you to authenticate. And once you authenticate here, you can move to next configuration. So here you have to give at what time you want to shut down. And suppose I give here like shut down. Come on. Shut down custom command. So start date is today, today. 8 17 2001 and uh, 12 a.m. So time zone you have to select at which time zone. There's time zone you can choose based on your country. Suppose if I am choosing for Singapore, I will choose for Singapore. Suppose I am choosing for uh, India, so I will choose here India standard time zone. If uh, the machine is working with the Singapore time zone, I will select the Singapore time zone so I will select Singapore time zone if I am if my server is working with uh, the China standard time so I will select China standard time so suppose I choose Singapore time zone so what will be the interval interval will be you can check the info here time interval for uh, recurring so one time daily it's like day frequency is per day interval is one at one time at least Notify you can put a notification here and you can put the email like uh, whenever the system will go off in shutdown mode It will trigger one email for you and uh, it will say like your system is uh, offline or Your system is shut down something like that. So once you configure it So after filling the details you can just create the task uh, Once the task will be created it will come like here. Yeah, it will come like this so let me see the view runs uh, how many times it's uh, running so you can see like uh, it's run too many times and uh, for yeah so it's running from a long time this is one more section in this is uh, it's you can edit in line how you can edit in line is uh, in same flow like here you will get this option and one is logical app logical app because this task scheduler is working as a logical app this is i think this is new in your zero portal so here you can trigger manually you can trigger this manually or you can edit it the logical app will open here app designer let it open so here it's given like power of uh, power of here i am passing the subscription id resource group and uh, the resource vm and uh, connected uh, account is uh, this one so if you see the recurrence recurrence you can see here i put here like uh, this is the start time and uh, at hour i have defined here in uh, in following manner 23 22 21 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 till 6 check like at at this time 
the logical app will check like the instance is shut down or not so this is my configuration here this will trigger at the following time 9 30 8 30 7 30 6 30 and uh, for 3 am 2 am 1 30 uh, 12 29 so at this time it checks uh, checks with the instance like this is in shutdown mode or this is in start mode so this is how uh, you can edit in the logic you can edit in line or you can edit this task after creation in logical apps so for start you can see here also if i go to edit and uh, go to edit and you can see the reference it's checking at uh, singapore time day one and there's no parameter i'm just just i just want to start the machine so there's no parameter i have passed and and the server starts that time automatically so this is how you can automate uh, automate your vm state to save some dollars if your uh, vm is not in use you can shut down at a de defined time and you can restart your vm again when your work starts thanks for watching